Hey guys, what's going on? So, quick little update. I wasn't going to film this, but I figured maybe some of you might have this issue with your Jeep Cherokees. So, I need to put a trailer wiring harness onto my Cherokee, uh, the four pin, so I can haul a trailer down to the coast here to pick up a new body for the YJ. So, instead of repairing the rust, I just went one got a body for a hundred bucks. That's a lot less worse than mine. But we bought one of these. It's a Kurt kit, Kurt kit uh, from Lorco, part number five five three five four, meant for a '97 to '01 Jeep Cherokee. Now the issue I have here is I have a '91 Cherokee. Now the weird thing is that the Cherokee '91, for whatever reason, they stopped making it. Napa still has them, but they're special order, and with the COVID-19, it's like a month waiting list. I gotta have this ready to go for tomorrow. We're gonna go pick up tub tomorrow. We have to grab the trailer. I was gonna haul the trailer and then I realized, one, I don't have a ball. And two, I have no trailer wiring because it was shorting out the whole entire electrical system, I think like three years ago. So we ripped it out and I, I must have threw it out. So instead of fixing it like I planned on it, I must have just said, hey, these are dirt cheap, 40 bucks is probably what I found on Amazon or something and threw it out. In hindsight, that was stupid because they don't make them anymore. They're discontinued. So today we're going to adapt this into our wiring harness. So we already know what these is, is your turn signal left and right brakes and ground, right? That's for that. The white cable is the ground. You have the ground for the brake lights. So you have your brake and you have your everything else. It's a four cable system. It's pretty straightforward. Um, we just have to figure out what's what. So here we have five cables. On here we have a shit ton more, right? Now some of these are pass-through cables and some of them aren't. So we need to figure out by plugging our multimeter that we have here into this and finding out what does what. We have six cables we have to transfer. As you can see, we have two cables here. We have two whites. We have a blue and a green. Then we have another green. And then we have, well, two greens, two browns, it looks like, a blue, two whites, and a black. And uh, we need to figure out what's what. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the wifey to jump in the Jeep. And we're going to get our multimeter on it. And we're going to apply the brakes. So we can see this light light up. Um, or, well, I'm going to pretty much probe it. It won't light up physically. But I'm going to probe it. And if we get a constant 12 volts, then we know that that's the brake light. We can mark that down. And we can just check to see which wire was what. Now, I'm going to do a ground by like grounding to this here. Uh, I'm not going to complete the circuit. I think black is ground in this circumstance. Usually it's not. Usually browns are ground or greens. But in this case, it looks like this would be, I'm guessing, the green is going to be the left turn signal. This is going to be the brake lights. And this one's going to be the right turn signal. The blue wire is probably going to be reverse. And these two are going to be your ground, which is your black. And then this other green one, I'm not 100% sure quite yet. Um... Later in the video, we might figure out what it does. But we're going to proceed with this step here. We're going to take it slow. We're going to take our time. We're going to write down our notes because I don't want to be chopping into a wiring harness just to screw it up. This harness is 30 years old. I don't want it to be messing with it. And someone's already been in here messing around. I don't know what it is, but we have some blue tape here, which goes to speakers. I'm guessing it looks like speaker wire. And we also have some more speaker wire over here so and the same color so i'm guessing these are speaker wires because the speakers it matches up here if we go to this wiring harness it kind of matches what the speakers run off so we got like this weird yellow and green and blue and green and then we have another one here and then continue over here we have a spliced wire right there which is uh, something i didn't notice until now so that's kind of fucky so we're gonna fix all this and we have no speakers in this because we haven't found a back panel yet so we're gonna put speakers in it and a simple for underneath the seat that is the goal of the jeep but uh at this moment we're just going to start probing and we're going to see what happens so um i'm going to film this as one big video but i'm going to cut it in editing because why not and uh we'll get started shortly bye bye Ta -da! and now it's recording wireless phone controls isn't it crazy all right so go apply some brakes for us Let's see what's what. I'm going to assume the browns are the brakes and this is the ground. You not me to look behind the brake panel, guy? <laughs> nope. 
You got brakes on? Yeah. Brakes off? On? Okay, so just keep holding on to it. Why just look at the bulb that's holding up for the brake light? Ooh, that one was 10 volts. What about you? No. That's nothing. That's nothing. That's nothing. How about this one? That's nothing. Alright, so our brake lights are the two whites. Okay, write it down. Oh, yeah. Okay, so two white brake cables. Brakes. Okay, so I found our ground, so that block is ground. Alright, uh turn on left turn signal. You're gonna put two clicks for it, I think. Not that one. Yeah. Interesting. Your voltage meter might pick up that it turns on and off with the blinker. Yeah, I know. But I got a single green one here. That's saying it's a turn signal. A turn signal. I'm wondering if the green is its own separate ground for the turn signal. It's getting the right connection. Alright, let's try this one. This one? Okay, what the hell? Give me a sec here. We're gonna fucking probe this bitch right here. We need a solid ground. Okay, so it's not that one. 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 So we have this one, which is the Solid green wire, single green wire. Yeah, so let's put this back here. Yeah, it's it's jumping zero to ten. So one green wire, one green. Left, right? We're doing left. You, uh, down or up on the stick? Down. Okay. She mixes up her left and her right a lot. All right. <clears throat> Okay, go to um, right. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Interesting. Do a background. Okay. So we got our brake lights, and we have our turn signal for left. I'm guessing I have to dig deep into this one over here and kind of figure out what's going on over here. I'm guessing that the wiring harness on two sides of the Jeep, which, which is fine. We just have to run an extra then bit. Then why is the installation for the harness only on the one side? If you should have all light control on the one side. Well. The harness only plugs in the one side. Yeah, but on the other one, it doesn't. Yes, it does. On this, it does. No, the other one has a huge ass long wire on the uh, 91 or 88 to 96. But it's all in this side. I don't know. I'm just troubleshooting. And that being said, this Jeep has been Mickey Mouse back together like seven times before we ever got it. So. I'm just gonna troubleshoot it and I'm gonna do it the most simplest way possible and if I have to run a white wire to the other side that's fine by me. Okay so alrighty then turn signal you are not gonna believe this 
someone at this side, the right side here, actually runs to the front of your Jeep. This side runs to this side of the Jeep, so there's two separate harnesses that I have to tie into. That would kind of make sense why our previous trailer wearing harness didn't have a signal for the right side. That would probably explain a lot. Remember that? Yeah, I remember that. Well, I don't think there's anything wrong with my previous harness. It just didn't have the connection to the right side. Shit, I didn't know you had LED bulbs in this. I think I have some for my lower one. No, just the turn signal? Yeah, I think it's west or exterior. I think exterior shouldn't be put it in. Okay, turn it off. Um, do we have a flashlight in here? Nope. I thought I had a flashlight. I'm going to take a look at the rust that we have down here, if there is any. Oh, you flush it out of the water every chance you get. I need some other flushing. And it has rust. So we need to spray some rust inhibitor down there too. For those guys. So, I get. Is it the current one that you just bought? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna remove this wiring harness. So it appears that this side does have its own harness. So, but at least we know that makes things a lot easier. Okay, so it's not a fucking eight. Is it a seven? It's a seven. Yeah, so that's why our, our turn signals never worked on the old harness. That's good to know. Now we know. Do it, do it, do it. Alright, so headlight out. Full of dirt. Okay, so we're gonna remove the bulbs in this case. Oh, shit, we're not gonna remove the bulbs. Because the bulbs look like they wanna be a part of that light for the rest of its life. So. This is what we found. So, what I found is that this has been tied into before. Oh, let me turn this. This has been tied into before. Uh, so, up like this. Um, with the blue wire. So, we have to take this piece off, clamp it, restrip it, put a new wire in, and. Okay, so. Someone's been in here before before us and put a wire in here. We're gonna repeat it. We got some white wire. Uh, this is the thinnest stuff I have, which is completely overkill for this wiring harness over here. Like this is, like I don't know, it's crazy. There's so much white crap crawling all over me right now. All right, well, <sighs> ain't nothing to it but to do it. Let's cut this off here. Hold on, can we split this? Is this one of those splittable ones? Oh, it might be. Yes, we can split it. Awesome. Okay, let's get this alligator clamp off. I hate these alligator clamps. Like, royally hate them. They... So, this is why I hate them. Like, right here. Prime example of why I hate alligator clamps. So for one, it does pinch the wire and make a connection. But look at the amount of corrosion in that. So this wire is alligator clamped and uh, it's been hurt. So we're gonna cut it, we're gonna strip it. We're gonna strip this wire. We're gonna fix it and then uh, solder it. And then we have our right turn signal wire. So. From here, we just gotta figure out what our right turn signal wire is on this. And uh, we could probably pull up a regular, I would imagine, a standard layout for this thing. What the hell is this sticker? Okay, cool. I guess that was meant to be on there. But um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie into this here. So these have already been spliced. We have double jointed ones here. So we're gonna splice into all these. This is, these connectors are going away. So that's what we're gonna do now. There we go. So now we got these all spliced out. Then we're gonna get this white one also spliced. Some extra white cable here. This one's 14. That's right. This is 14 gauge. So those are 16 gauge. These are 14 gauge. It's a little overkill for what it is, but it is what it is, and nothing I can do about it. So 
I'm gonna look up a harness thing for this because I'm guessing white is ground. I have four colors going into this though, and I don't know what they're related to. So I got four, five going in, and I have four coming out. So, and unfortunately, these holes at Kurt does not list a wiring diagram of what this is. It just tells me how to plug them in, pretty much. Um, it agrees to connect the ground to this bolt here. But, uh, yeah. I got no information whatsoever about it. So, that's good to know. Alright, so, we're going to write this down, just in case. So, one white right turn signal so these harnesses I'm not gonna cut them I decided that I doubt you can see these things from the camera angle but uh, I'm not gonna cut them I'm gonna put them back together I'm just gonna thread into the signal and leave the signal there and just piggyback off the signal off this wire here this longer one I'm not gonna tie into the car harness I'd rather replace this little cheap harness I think these are like 20 bucks in rock auto so we know what color it is so we know we need Double white is our brake lights, so we have a single white here, and uh, actually I should test that, because we know this side has a white, but is this side, since they're now all separate, are we, no, 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 that's stupid, no, oh, I'm an idiot, I'm sorry. I had, I had a brain fart there for a second thinking, do I have to tie in both brake lights together? You do not. I keep forgetting about that. So I just got to tie in the one brake light, which you know is single white here. Um, I don't know why it's double white going into a single white. I'm not exactly sure as to why. But uh, we have our red, which is our single wire. And we have our green, which is also our turn signal wire here. So where it looks... It, it was green at one point. I can say that. So two white cables are, are red. That being said though, and I'm not pulling in the full, no, it should be transfer voltage. Okay, so. Whatever, we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna probably pull up a wiring diagram of this Jeep here in about 10 minutes. Whoa, what the hell? So there's extra cable here, but it doesn't actually go into anything. Cool. I don't even know what this is. There's a thick ass cable here. And I don't even know what it is. What could that be? Right side? That could be right side. Interesting. Why they would run it all the way over here. Crazy. I think I found the official wiring diagram for it. Nice. Alright, we're going to look at some wiring diagrams and continue on with this process. Spray back. He has a bad tendency of finishing the project and then going, oops. Oops. <laughs> oops, I did it again. I jumped on your dick and got knocked up again. <gasps> you ever heard that song? Nope. We're Weird Al Yankovic made that song. And it was funny. It's time to see who wants to be a turn signal. Perfect. We has a turn signal. You're not soldering it like that. No, I know how to solder. You're not twisting the wires together correctly? No, I just I just did that to test it, that's all. Okay. Do you want me to do that? No, I got it. The more finesse fingers, you sure? You've literally had me do the finicky thing. I will weld your door shut if you don't show up in a minute. They literally bother you so much. You always have me do the finicky thing. Just the stupid fucking... Little things like just, this? Just the stupid bolts that people put in place. They're like, hey, by the way, fuck the guy who has to work on this thing. Gets fuck the woman to guy. do it. Uh -huh, yeah. No, that's not going to be hot for a while yet. Trust oh, me. Shit, I bet she's warm, buddy. Well, she's getting there. It's not even melting your solder yet. Are you trying to burn your facial hair? Hey, you need a haircut, dude. Let's fuck, let's work it out. <laughs> Hello, hairdressers. Look at them line up. 
to get oh, back to work. Ladies and gentlemen, on the next video, this will be groomed. Yeah. Well, actually, no, because the next video is tomorrow. And it'll be groomed by then. This is today's video. Tomorrow yep. will be us getting the U-Haul trailer and going down to pick up an entire fucking tub. Yep. I hope that trailer can hold that tub. Now, does that have a four pin testing trailer thing? This thing? No, yeah. it's a seven pin because it's a trailer break. Okay, we don't have a trailer to test this thing oh, on. You no. know that, right? We have the best trailer testing equipment right here. You plug it in the hole and you turn on your turn signal. If you have a turn signal, it goes beep. Hello. Okay. I gotta look up the wiring harness for this. I was gonna say, you you know which color pin is what? Yeah. Okay. Look with we have solder action. Okay. So, uh, I need... Oh, I don't have any of my welding gloves here, do I? Bollocks. Grinder disc. I don't need a grinder disc. That's nylon, right? This Jeep bag? No, that's probably cotton. That's a... <laughs> Go home, you're drunk. You're melting it. Perfect. Why did you just melt the bag? I didn't. You I could have gotten you a damp rag or something that you could have done that on. No, no, no. No, 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 that's too easy. I'm just going to wreck a beautiful Jeep bag that had no holes in it, and now I put holes in it. Are you ready for something retarded? I paid $300 for that bag. And you just put holes in it for no fucking good reason. I don't know why. I don't know if we're allowed to swear on your channel, but man, that just pissed me off. There was nothing wrong with that bag. Not a hole in it. That was a good strap bag, and now you've put holes in it. It's... I, is, people wonder why couples get into fights. It's stupidity like that. It's COVID-19 that's doing it. I guarantee <laughs> divorce lawyers are just getting excited when their office opens back now up. Now that people are just living in each other's homes all day long. It's going, hey. Okay, so that was the solid green. So I got one solid green left, one solid white right and two solid white cables is the bricks. So, FYI, this is a green-brown cable. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, are you testing for a green? Actually, if you want green? to know, it's fucking beige. No, no that's brown. They classify that as brown. Eat ass. This one here? This Eat. is green and brown. Eat, no, not that one. Well, that's green and brown. So that's only, not your turn signal, though. It's only green one over here. Which one are you gonna go against? No, green one is for the left. Okay, so which one's to the right? So this one here is... Beige one? Uh, the one you're about to solder. Beige one? Yeah. Is there a beige one in that circuit? No, no, that's for the right. Don't worry about this over here. Mm -hmm. Over here, we're chewing ass and eating bubblegum. Hmm. So we're gonna... I'm gonna strip this black tape back a lot. God. So I can get we're a... You and Buddy, who the fuck? I swear to God, they hire someone at like someone's job is just to fuck with harnesses at Jeep all day. Like that guy has the best job in the world. Loving the hockey tape. Yeah, I, I know. I thought that was like uh, someone did that. It's not. It's back. It's all over the place. Like I didn't know. I didn't know Canadians worked a Jeep. <laughs> Like, Canadians are the only people I know. Well, they have, it has to last this long somehow. Somebody with some brains had to work on it. I know, but it blows my mind that um, it's just, I don't know, it's just weird. Okay, so just for those who are watching to copy this, just in case you end up coming stumbling across this video with a tutorial. Um, the white and orange or brown, I'm not exactly sure what color brown. it is. These things are so sunburnt. Probably that tan, actually. Like, they're so heat burnt, pretty much, that the wiring colors are probably not the same as the diagram. But um, this beige-looking wire is your left turn signal. This single white and orange or white and brown cable is your brake cable or your brake lights. So these two are disconnected and ready to go. We have four things over here. Um, I'm going to assume that two of these tie in together. And that's that. Can you barricade me or something? Like, I need this knot to be cooling off. <laughs> okay, don't be a retard against the wind, you fucking retard. Okay, so... We need a new soldering gun. Yes. So brown's break, yellow is, okay, so yellow is right turn signal. Brown is all of it, and the red, I have no idea what this red belongs to. 
these are the four I know we definitely need to hook up. This, this red one, I have no idea. So marker lights, I think, is what the red is. Oh, we'll try another photo, just to make sure we're not going crazy here. <clears throat> okay, we should probably look up the manufacturer who makes this. So who is it again? Crude? Crud? Crud? Okay, I think we're gonna pull this into the fucking garage because it's apparently Hurricane Katrina starting to come down the fucking road. So we're gonna pull into the garage. We'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. We moved inside because the wind was just getting really, really crazy. Um, I'm just looking up this thing here. Four pin wiring diagram. Okay, so. So yellow, green, brown, white. So tail lights is brown. We got that one. Green and yellow are my turn signals. Red, I am guessing, is my uh what do they call them? God damn it, I forgot the name. Running lights. So I don't think I need brown. Or red, sorry. Because it yeah, red doesn't look like it does anything. So you see here we have the four pin wiring. Okay. I don't think we need that. So kind of weird. Holy shit, there is apparently a five way. I am going insane. Sorry to be a pain in the ass there, boys. Oh. So tail lights is that. Brake lights is that. Well, isn't it the same circuit? Come on. Let's confirm this circuit. lights on now so that's confirmed that our tail lights on the same circuit so in case I'm not that one blue all right so our constant running lights which is brown is gonna be on the blue strip get to know That's interesting. Now the question I have. So white is our, how does this work? There must be a module inside this that takes the uh, applied voltage and says, okay, if the red one has voltage, cut the brown one. That's what I'm guessing. So, okay, so now we need to strip this blue one too because that's our our daytime running light. So, so we have ground. So, turn signals are definitely gonna be green and yellow. We have determined this already. So, green and yellow, you guys live together. You guys can live happily ever after over here on your own. You can have kids, maybe a baby, forever. Turn signal, boom, okay. So stop is the red wire, which is the white. And then uh, brown is the tail light. So the daytime running light or the night lights. So that's cool. And then we have our ground. All right, so now we know. So we're gonna write that down. So when I edit the video later, we know what's what. So there we go. Now we have it all and then white to ground. So ground. <laughs> I'm gonna do this for you guys so if you ever get caught on this video tutorial wise um, we can sort this out unfortunately we have tinted windows here which makes things ever ever so interesting um, see I wish we just had like something there I definitely want an LED strip in this thing yeah, well, eventually in the future 
Like just just something you can have as a full blown work light. You know what I mean? Like the guys who have those uh, LED strips underneath their hood. Like that's sick. Okay, so we're just gonna go back and confirm that the camera can actually see something. If not, then we're gonna have to open up the gate. Oh, sweet. This camera is doing it and it sees a lot better than I see, for fuck's sakes. Okay, so we're gonna cut this blue wire here. I feel like a bomb diffusal guy. Beep beep. So we now have a wiring diagram. So pretty much from here, it's just gonna be a wiring up mess. Um, I'm also going to try to get this out of the body. I don't want it going in through the door because that's the issue we had last time is, is the harness going through the door and it cut. Um, a lot of videos just show them buckling it up here in the corner and just dangling it out to here. I think that's absolute dog shit the way to run it. So I'm going to try to run it outside the body. Uh, it's a Jeep so there's a million holes. I just got to find the right hole. Story of my high school sex life. Um, but yeah. So I'm going to continue the video once we have everything soldered up and ready to test. Well, we're going to twist everything together and test it. We know that's good to go uh, for the right turn signal. So we're just going to test everything and make sure we're all hunky-dory and ready to go. So, see you in a bit. Okay, so when I said that I was going to hook it up and make sure it doesn't run out here of the door, I found a hole in here. I don't know if you guys can see that hole where I got the trailer wiring going through. I'm going to put the phone underneath so you can see the hole. But uh, there's a hole here. Uh, so I don't have to have it sticking out of the light seal so I don't get water in there and uh, I'm going to be able to run it to get right to the hitch without any uh, mess happening and it's going to wire it up and be hidden away and it'll just be here and easily accessible so we'll see when we get everything wired up. Alright, so everyone lazies and half asses this job. I've learned in my lifetime if you're going to half ass it, don't half ass it. Just full ass it, call it a day. So. I was hoping to get a hole down there, but there wasn't one, but even better, this whole panel is here. One so yeah, so this wire, now we can just run it underneath the carpet to that side and we won't have any grounding issues and it won't get frayed or anything like that. So we're gonna put this back together and we're gonna be golden. All right, so trailer wiring is all hooked up. It's kind of loosely there right now, but it's all soldered and good to go. So now we just need the, uh, wifey to push on the brakes we have brake lights okay pull your stick out pull my stick out yeah that, the thing pull the thing out my light toggle yeah okay we have that turn the signal left turn the signal right excellent all right i'm gonna test this now um come on. <laughs> you guys are making out with your uh, visuals there this is dusty as all fuck uh, all right um this thing holds on worse than my past relationships sure no it's fine we'll just do we'll just hold it physically like this all right so we're going to check the ground so ground is easy on this thing all right so we have a green wire so that'll be left turn signal or right sorry right Ladies and gentlemen, we have some voltage movement, but I oh, there we go. So we got good ground this time. All right, right turn signal, left turn signal. Sorry, we have left turn signal. Okay, break. No, daytime running lights on. Um, night times are on. Okay, full break. Go again. Full break. I think your bulb just burnt out on this side. <laughs> okay, turn off your running lights. Actually, that's the one. Remember, you saw that little bugger flickering the other Full day? break. Brake light just died. <laughs> that one's dim. That one's not. But, uh, brake light is... Take out your voltage meter for a second and then look at the light. Okay, go ahead. Still dim. I think you need a brake light. I'm be surprised. Okay, um, what color is it? What color is it? <laughs> Red. <A> bulb? <laughs> oh, it's just a it's just a regular bulb. It's one of those ones you push in and go. Alright, so we have no voltage brakes. Okay, daytime running lights. 
Daytime's on. You want nighttime lights? Pull lights on. Turn it off. You know that's only for my headlights, right? So no, it's for the back here too. Are they pulled out right now? No, it's pushed back in. If okay, pull, put them back in. It's in. Pull them out. It's breaking. That side light is on, but not the brake light. Okay, off the brakes. On. Well, that's interesting. Okay, off. Either way, it all works. So, all the trigger wiring works. Uh, I am gonna. I need a new bulb for that side, so we're gonna put a new one in right now because we have one. And uh, we're gonna continue this video. I'm gonna actually edit the wiring diagrams to show you guys exactly what to do and how to do it. And uh, we'll go from here. So hopefully, hopefully we'll see you guys in a bit. Bye bye. All right. So, update. The bulb is fine. These stupid clamps that everyone fucking seems to love using, don't use them. They're trash. Our whole brake light is because of that clamp. So we're gonna remove the two clamps that are on that light and we're gonna solder them back together, shrink wrap them, repair the wire so we have a good uh, voltage to give the lights good proper chances to survive. Again, don't use alligator clamps. They're trash. All right, so we're done. So the lights are good, all good. Fixed all the freaking alligator clamps on this. Found a corroded reverse light on both reverse lights. So I don't know how long we've been running without reverse lights, but we haven't had reverse lights. Uh, all the wiring is hunkered up here. So I zip tied it to this little piece here and drilled a hole in the bracket. And it goes up in here, it goes up underneath the bumper. And it goes up in here and goes up in a hole. I don't know if you can see that. Over there, somewhere, right here. And it goes up in a hole. And I taped everything so it's one big wiring loom. And it's now behind this panel. Everything tested, everything's minty fresh. And we're legal now. So tomorrow when we go to pick up trailer from Kamloops to go pick up the tub for the YJ, we now have legal lights for the trailer and everything else like that. And now we can tow legally. Um, we are gonna upgrade this when we put the steel bumper on. I'm gonna drill out a steel bumper and I'm gonna put the actual bracket in like a like a Ram truck would have and wire that in. So that way we can have multiple lights. And I'm also gonna add a trailer brake controller to this Jeep as well. Cause it's good to have. And if we go backpacking, or not backpacking, but uh, overlanding with a trailer on, it's good to have a brake controller. So anyway yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I appreciate you stopping by. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and check out the other content on the channel. But it's just a, another day in the life of a Jeep owner. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.